YouTube. And that's why we are giving her roses. Her personality is top notch. Her defense matches though. We expect her to get drafted. The story of how she got here is truly unbelievable. It's something that we're diving into because she deserves these roses. DD coming to us live from Houston. Good to have you here. Um, I seen the video of people haven't before the season, you're in a scrimmage, you collide with a teammate, very scary moment. Here's the video, we're gonna take a look. You collided there and you went motionless. You go to the hospital, you have no feeling in your legs. And over the course of 38 days, through sheer willpower, you not only are able to walk again, you play in a game and score 13 seconds into the game. You're yeah. past that, you've had a season, but as you look back at that journey, DD, what have you taken from that that is positive? Um, thank y'all for having me, by the way, um, first off. And secondly, it's just being able to come back for something like that. You can only take that. Don't let whatever is someone telling you, because, you know, throughout the whole process, there was doctors telling me that I wouldn't come back to playing. If I do come back to play basketball, then I won't be at the level that I was playing at. So literally just being able to define your own fate and put everything in God's hands and just keep a positive mindset throughout the whole situation. Mm. D.D. Shaq here, I admit I didn't know much about your story. The beautiful Candace Parker informed me of the story. It's a beautiful story. I'm glad you persevere. At what point at the hospital did you say, nope, I'm not going for this. I don't care what the doctors say. I need to get it back cracking. I will walk again. Day one, day two? It was literally day one and day two. It was, I spent the night, my first night there. The next day, they were trying to keep me in the, you know, the hospital. And I'm like, mom, get me out of this hospital. Like, tell them, ask them what I have to do to get out of the hospital. And literally the First thing they said I had to do was be able to walk up a flight of stairs. So that was my, you know, next task while I was in the hospital in order to get out. Dee Dee, this is uh, this is D Wade. I um, I have a saying that I try to live by, and that saying is, "My belief is stronger than your doubt." As mm -hmm. as athletes, we always have to um, overcome doubt from the outside. But can you talk a little bit about that inner doubt? and how you overcame that, because sometimes that's way, that is way tougher than the doubt from the outside. Definitely. Um, it, was, it was tough. I was literally, I would get out the hospital or I would have a good day and the next day I would wake up and can't put my toes again. So it would be little things like that that would sleep into my mind. Like you don't even know if tomorrow you're gonna have your legs again, if your arms are gonna go numb, you know? So it was just me being able to, you know, redirect my mindset because I would have my mom and my dad and my brother there and they would just literally keep my head up. So when I would be feeling doubt or like you said, self-doubt, then I would go, you know, with my parents or with my brother or my teammates, you know, just get some ice cream, get my mind off the little things and go have some fun, really. Didi, just, I want to keep it light because I'm inspired by your story, but I also know that you really do a good job of showing people who you are and that's outside of the lines. Yeah with your stylish puffs. I mean, your baby hair, I have to give you credit. It's really nice. Don't <laughs> flip, boo boo, don't flip, boo boo. Listen, I don't do that often. So, good, you know, wow, your baby hair. Wow, from the queen herself. But um, Y'all the queen of baby hair. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, um, you know, what do you, what are your, what do you like to do off the court? Um, and then now that you're, you know, going to the WNBA draft, what do you want to do outside of basketball um, as your next career in, in your next profession? Um. So basketball is always first, but secondly, I want to be able to, you know, show that I'm capable of a lot more things, which is modeling. That's my number one thing outside of basketball that I want to be able to do. And then, you know, on my off time, I would love to, you know, be with y'all, be a commentator or, you know, hey, sports analysis. Hey. So that's literally what I want to do after basketball. Uh, I'm, I'm being told that while the baby hairs are a competition, you are winning the battle of eyelashes by a <laughs> hundred yards. Thousand percent. Like, incredible. I'm telling you, you got to be able to, you know, tickle God's hey. feet. That's how, that's the length you got to give them. I want God to fill me down here. <laughs> uh, I love, Didi, my, my only other question for you is the draft is on Thursday. What an awesome moment. Who are you going to surround yourself with? Are you hoping to go anywhere? What is this? And then also to know what you were just going through. And now the at WNBA draft is here, you're going to hear your name called. What is that doing in your mind? Oh, I'm crazy anxious. Um, someone always told me that if you're nervous and that's negative energy and anxious is positive energy, so I'm gonna say I'm anxious for to see what's gonna happen. But I'm in Houston, back home with my parents, my family. So I'll have some family and friends. I'll be literally in this spot, and my brother will probably be right here. My mom's literally standing right behind the camera, Amazing. and so Bye, we're mom. all gonna be, mom. 
They said, hey, mom. Look. <laughs> tell her to say hi. I mean, tell her to cover the camera. Come say hi. Tell her to cover the camera. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Hey, mom. mom. They said, hey, mom. Man, black don't crack. You see that? Just, just oh. ageless. Mom, ageless. I got an AD way. I got a new website called Damn Your Mama Fine. <laughs> 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 I can't hear y'all yelling in my ear. That's funny. <laughs> uh, Dee Dee, we are, we are going to be rooting for you big time. I know that Candace is going to talk to the Chicago Sky. I'm sure <laughs> that there's going to be a lot of teams interested in you. Congratulations on everything. We're so happy to see where you've come. Congratulations. Well, Congrats, Dee Dee. Thank Congrats. you. Thanks for having me. Congrats.